Oh, good morning, YouTube. How you doing today? Still waking up on a Tuesday morning. Getting ready for a shave. We are going to be using Ethos Bay Rum with the matching splash. And besides that, a Gray Dog Coco Polo Wood Brush. Nice grains on it. Trying to get behind the light uh, in front of me so it's not shadowing it. Anyway, I uh, already loaded the brush. It's a Sinbad knot. And for the razor, we are using Sterling razor. I have the complete set. There's an extra handle, the Austin handle, and the hyper aggressive plate. I was thinking of selling this recently. Actually, had it on the buy sell trade, and nobody bit on it, and so. Uh, Decided just to put it back in the bin. I'm not going to give uh, in the den. I'm not going to give it away. No longer produced. So this is with the Dallas handle and the standard base plate, which you can see has an enormous gap. Anyway, so let's go ahead with the face. So yes, it's not a vintage razor. And that's because, uh, as my uh, description on the channel states, you know, I'm showcasing my vintage razors. Let me try this. Just getting the soap off the outside of the tub. All right. I do showcase my uh, vintage antique razors. I've been letting a few uh, go recently, uh, selling them on the buy, sell, trade, or eBay, but um, I do enjoy modern razors too, and have, uh, have a few. Matter of fact, after uh, borrowing a titanium vector, which I've always thought the vector was the best modern single edge AC style razor out there. And I borrowed a titanium one, which I've never used. I had to get one. And I was fortunate enough to find a polished titanium razor and stand on the buy sell trade which is great because Shane at Blackland razors no longer is uh, doing the polished ones it's no longer an option you can get anodized in blue or purple or the typical satin finish that he's doing late shave yesterday so I mean I'm using a razor that's way too aggressive even the standard plate on this is uh, not too aggressive to shave with but for me as a daily everyday shaver it was just too much didn't really need it and so that's why I had put it on the uh, buy sell trade this is the uh, if you remember the fiasco rod went through he was getting these made at a manufacturer machinist in the States. It was going to be made in USA. Found out that they had sourced it out to China to use. And so he set these aside <clears throat> and got some produced in the USA. And I acquired one of those and subsequently sold it. Anyhow, then uh, the Chinese ones, he ground off the made in USA on the bottom there. Just got rid of that etching because obviously it wasn't and he's a upstanding honest individual when he does business and so he made these available and actually Rod stated that the, the tolerances were closer on this than the actual USA made one that he sold and I have to agree with that so I have this as well as uh, he did get a bad batch of top caps where the uh, tolerances were so close uh, some of the top caps came in and they were the part that fits into the base plate 
uh, the nubs, little channel, uh, were just a little too, weren't milled quite enough. And so I have four extra caps that I could try to fix uh, if I wanted, since I had the other base plate that would make two complete razors. But anyway, I digress. Point is, I still have it. I've got way less than 24 hours growth. It's probably more like 16. Um, and so I don't know if this is going to be a one pass or two pass shave. Yeah, this is going to be probably two at the most. So when I put it up for sale, I had several people say, Oh, I love that razor. I can't believe you're selling yours. No longer going to be produced ever. <clears throat> people keep stating, I hope Rod makes a run of these in titanium. He said he's not doing any more, but you never know. The ones where I ask, why are you getting rid of it, Dave? Well, for the reasons I stated. Everyday shaver, it's more razor than I need as far as efficiency, because it is efficient. And so I'm, I'm not, I, I tended not to grab it, and that's why I set it aside. As one to let go of. So if I keep it, it's more of just a collector's piece that sits there than, than gets used. And that's just not how I normally do things. I mean... keep ones that I'm using even though it may be a large rotation before I get to it. from up there in my jaw. Got it. I am there. I know I've not talked about the ethos, but it's amazing. I've talked about it in other videos. I've kind of been in on an ethos run lately, the past several days. That's all we need, folks. Sit with a little witch hazel. 
hardly worth doing the video. Two passes, right? But they've been too far in between just because of being busy and stuff. So that one little spot there I reopened. I think you can almost see the, the bump that it, it was pimple that I caught. And you gotta shake these things up as it states on the side. Shake me, I'm all natural. This was a, a bay rum that Frank made from the start. I mean, he infused, had a jar. I'm sitting there, I'm melding and with all the stuff that goes in it. Until he mixed well and infused and then he, he went with it and made the product. So, and he's coming out with some more. He's got another run of the Bay Run uh, coming. He's going to have some stuff besides just the soap and the splash. And he's going to do the Tortolo, which is a uh, pineapple or something else in there. Citrusy. It's just it's amazing scent. He's going to make a soap to go with that one. It was just an add-on splash that he made to go with the Bay Rum. And it was such an amazing scent and so well received. He's going to make the soap and some other things to go with it as well. So looking forward to that. There you have it. That's the standard, if you can call it standard, <laughs> plate. And uh, just an amazing shave. Great razor. Glad to have it. It's um, unobtainium, as they call it. But anyway, where are we at here? Oh, well, not even 12 minutes. That's a record, right, for typical shave. Not that we can't shave faster, but we're not really in a rush, are we? I'm not. Anyway. Dave in Kentucky, hope you're doing well out there. Thanks for watching. Be kind, be safe, and we'll see you on the forum.